Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a what's in my travel makeup bag where we explore my big old makeup case. I did get this case on Amazon. They come in a bunch of different sizes. This is kind of like a medium size one and it does a really good job of fitting most of my products in here. So if you'd like to see what I pack in my travel makeup bag, then just keep watching. So this bag is actually like really great. It has different compartments and these little guys like come out and you can make the compartments different sizes. It also has this little bit here so that it keeps your makeup brushes from getting all dirty and gross. And I do find that it fits quite a good amount of brushes in these. And then it also has a zipper. And in here I do keep my smaller palettes. So I have the ColourPop element of surprise. And then I also have the City Mini Makeup Shayla collaboration with Maybelline. And I brought that because I do need like a little black shade and then also for like that purple shade if I wanted it. So then let's get into this little middle compartment, shall we? Okay, so we have my little compartments all here. I am wearing my false lashes right now, but usually I would put them either in this place or over here, wherever there's room. Over in this section right here, I have my liquids, and I did put my little beauty blender in there. So I have my face primer, I have the foundations that I'm using for the wedding. I also have my little Jeffree Star liquid skin frost. This is in frozen peach and I do like to put this on my body. I think it's really pretty. I also have a mini bottle of the Fix Plus. You can get these at MAC and Ulta and it's they're really nice to have. You can actually refill these bottles so if you have Fix Plus you can actually put more in them. So that's really nice that they are refillable. So you really only have to like buy these ones and then you have a little mini setting spray to bring with you. And then I also packed some of my favorite daytime foundations, the Physician's Formula, and then the Infallible Pro Glow. I think these are both great choices. So you do want like a daytime foundation if you're into that as well. And then I do keep a little bottle um, of the, this is actually the Rose Gold Elixir. This is not the Unicorn Essence Oil, but I love this little travel bottle and I put the oil in there. Okay, moving on to the powders I have over here. So I have my setting powder. I also have my blush. I decided to just bring one blush this time instead of a couple. I just think that this one is so nice and neutral and I knew it was gonna go with all of the looks that I was doing. And then I like to bring a little compact mirror. I got this as like a little free gift from Ulta and I think this is really great. It has like a magnifying side and a not magnifying side. And then I have my two highlighters here. I have Fuego and the Amrezy highlighter. Again, I chose to just bring these two because I know that they would go with the looks that I'm going for. And then I also have my MAC Fix Plus. Love this stuff. Don't go anywhere without that. So last but not least, I have my little section here. And again, these are removable. So if you need to remove them or if you want like a smaller compartment, you can always do that. I just kind of like this situation here it works the best for me. So in this compartment, I have like my lippies, my eyeliners, basically everything else. So I have my little Candy K lip liner. I have my NYX matte liquid eyeliner. I have my concealer. So I have the Born This Way, which is gonna take this out for video purposes. Now it's easier for you to see. So I also have my concealers here, my eyelash curler, my scissors, my tweezers, my eyebrow pencil, any eyeliners I put in here as well. You can put the eyeliners in a little pack with your brushes, but I usually bring way too many brushes. And I have some Gimme Brow, my lip products, 
more concealer, my lash glue, mascara. Always bring like a colorful lippy with you when you're traveling. You never know when you are gonna want to do a colorful lip. I have my lip scrub, my painterly paint pot, a lip mask or some sort of lip moisturizer. And then I also did bring the Kylie Cosmetics highlighter just in case I wanted something that wasn't like gold. So I brought this. And then don't forget a pencil sharpener. So obviously this thing is very well loved. I have some hair ties in the bottom. You never know, just in case. And then I do just have like a little moisturizer just in case I need something a little bit thicker. Then I have like these larger palettes and I do travel with these, but I do put them in like a larger bag where I put like my toiletries, my hair products, that kind of thing. The last thing I suggest when you travel is putting a little bit of brush cleaner. I use this Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner and I put it in a uh, setting spray bottle and it's just such an easy way to clean your makeup brushes. Especially if you know you're doing your makeup differently for two days. Again, this is for my friend's wedding, so I know that I am gonna be doing my makeup differently for rehearsal than I'm doing for her wedding. So as you can see, I have a brush here that has some makeup. I just took some toilet paper and you just spray it a couple times, get it nice and saturated, and then wipe it off. Any brushes that are super dirty, you can always spray them again. But then now we have a clean brush. So now I'll show you how I kind of pack it all up. Well guys, that is what is in my travel makeup bag as well as how I pack it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you pack for your next trip. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy bye's. You can change them out and you can make different size compartments. You can put them in the little pockets with your brushes. 